Hi there guys, so this video is a guide on how to route the network traffic from one container through another container. Sounds interesting? Then let's get started. Okay, so this is a quick video guide on how to make any container connect using the network of which another container uses. So why would you want to do that? Well, you may be using a container that has a built-in VPN, such as Binhex's excellent Deluge VPN container. Now this container can only connect to the internet using a VPN, due to its really strict IP tables. So when we're using the Deluge BitTorrent client, our ISP can't see what we're doing. In fact, it doesn't even know that we're using a BitTorrent client because all of the traffic is being routed through the VPN. Okay, so maybe on the server, we have another container which would also like to have its traffic routed through a VPN. Of course, we could just use another container which has a VPN built in, and myself, I use Binhex's Deluge VPN for my torrents, and I use Jay Strider's NZB GET container for my Usenet needs. Anything that I download on the internet, I always like it to go through a VPN. But of course, just like you, I'd never download any copyrighted material that I don't already own. But even so, I see no benefit to me for my ISP to be able to look through lists of what I've downloaded whenever they feel like it. Anyway, like I said, we could just use two separate containers that have the VPN built in. But doing this is going to use up an extra device license that we have for our VPN. And many VPN providers have limits on how many devices you can connect. I think a common figure is about five devices at once. And even if we don't care about how many device licenses we're using, some containers don't have a VPN built in anyway. For example, Binhex's NCB GET container doesn't have a VPN built in. So let's stack Binhex's NZB GET container along with his Deluge VPN container and then route all of the traffic through Deluge VPN. Okay, so here we are on my Docker tab on the Unraid Web UI. Now before we start and do anything, for this to work you must be running Unraid 6.8.3 or above. Now you can see here I've got my Deluge VPN running and also I've got my NZB GET VPN running here as well. And also you can see here that I've downloaded the Binhex NZB GET container as well. But currently it's not running. Right, so the first thing to do is have a quick look at Deluge VPN. We can see it's up and running. But in the web UI, we can't check the external IP address that the container is using. To do that, we need to bash inside of the container. We need to open the console window and type the following command, which is curl space ifconfig.io. So just hit enter and it will give you the IP address that the container is using to connect to the internet. So let's copy that and have a look at where the location of this IP address is. So let's open up another tab and search what is my IP. Then click on what is my IP address .com. That will just show you the IP address of the computer that you're on. But in the top right hand corner we can paste the IP address from the container. So we can see whereabouts the container is connecting to. And you can see here that it thinks it's connected coming through Paris, France. Okay, so that's a really easy way to find the WAN IP address of the container that you're using just by opening the console and running that command. So, okay, now I'm gonna shut down this NCB GET VPN and I'm going to start up the Binhex NCB GET container, the one that doesn't have a VPN built in. And so now let's go to the console of this container and check what its IP is. So again, we'll type in curl ifconfig.io, but this time we're going to have to blank out the IP address because it is actually my WAN IP. And I don't want to show it on video. Okay, so now let's just stop the container and click back onto it and go to edit. And let's put in the details to be able to make this container connect through Deluge VPN. We're going to need to make sure we toggle the Docker container to the advanced view. Then we need to scroll down until we see network type. And by default at the moment you can see it's on bridge, but we want to select none because we don't want this container to have its own network. And so now what we need to do in this part here where it says extra parameters, we need to type dash dash net equals container 
colon and then the name of the container of which we want to use the network from. So just quickly on another tab I'm going to edit the Binhex Deluge VPN and just copy out the name here just so I don't make any mistakes and then paste in the name of the container here. So what we got under extra parameters is hyphen hyphen net equals container hyphen bin hex hyphen deluge VPN. And for network type, this must be set to none. Okay, so with that done now, we can scroll down to the bottom and click on apply and update the container. Okay, so now back on the Docker tab, we can see here that it says the network type is container bin hex deluge VPN. Okay, so let's click back on console and open a terminal window and again type curl.ifconfig.io Okay, and so there's our IP address, it's definitely changed. So let's copy that. Now we can close this window and now go back to whatismyipaddress.com Now let's paste that IP address in here and search for it. And hey, it's that same IP address coming out of France the one that Deluge VPN's using. So we know it's definitely working. Binhex NCB get now is going through Deluge VPN and out of that French IP address. But how do we connect to the web UI? There's no web UI button here. And if I type in the IP address of my server and a port 6789, which is for NCB get, I don't get anything come up. Right, so to fix that, we actually have to make a change inside the Deluge VPN container itself. So click on to edit and then let's scroll down and we can see here the port that Deluge VPN uses. There's four of them here. Well, we're going to have to add the port that NCB GET uses as well to this container. So at the bottom of the template, I'm going to click add another port path or variable. I'm going to choose port here and for name, I'm going to call it NCB GET port. Then here the container port is 6789, which is the same as the host port. 6789 here as well. Connection type I'm leaving it on TCP and then just click on the add to add that port in. Okay we can see it's here at the bottom now. So with that done now I can click on to apply and done. And with that done now when we click onto the container we're still not going to see the web UI button. We're never going to see that when we're connecting through another container. But if we type in the server IP address and the port number then we're going to see the container find. That's because we added in the port for this container into its parent container so everything can still get through. Well, I suppose I better show you that it does actually work. So I've got this NCB file here, this Ubuntu 18.04. So I'm going to click on to add and then select files and choose that NCB file. Okay, so the file's downloading. It's working absolutely fine. So this NCB get container now is connecting through the network of the Deluge VPN container and connecting through the VPN and downloading its NZB that way. So that's perfect, just what we wanted. So that brings us to the end of another video. Now I want to give a real big shout out to all of my patrons and supporters. Thank you so much guys, you really do make these videos possible and I really do thank you for all of your support and help. And to everyone, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. I really hope you found it useful. If you did, then please do me a favour, hit up that like button, it really does help me. And if you're new to the channel, then hey, why not subscribe? And hit that notification bell, so you know every time I upload a new video. Anyway guys, it's time for me to go now. But whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good. Stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video.